Axe Vessel out. I don't know if it has a Radiate yet. I don't think it really matters. Uh, it's going to be really close. Cole, I think he might barely take this fight. Yes, Cole coming in with a couple of extra Hydras. Cole will take the battle. And that's actually crucial because Mech is much, much harder to replenish than uh, Medic Marine is. So winning that battle, um, I mean, it was close, but winning that is really good for Cole. Zerg actually does favor army trades against Terran Mech. But here we have some vultures laying some mines running in. There is one sunken. The drones are running. I don't know why they're not running towards the sunken, though. It looks like all the drones will probably go down. Yeah, no, two drones remain, but the, they're not going to be able to mine because there's a vulture back there, so that's going to be annoying. Looks like the hydras are going to run back, but they're going to run into mines. Going to lose two hydras to mines. Uh, he does have overlord speed, so that was uh, not completely necessary. There is a third command set going down. He's going to float it across this ridge to uh, to take this base right here. And what do we have? We have some uh, hydras moving down. There's actually a random vulture out here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, wow, we actually have 177 viewers in a stream that's not even uh, listed. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to... Hopefully nothing super fancy happens right now while I see if, I, if my thing has been changed on Team Liquid. I thought I heard a drop get loaded up, but I don't see it. Is there a dropship? I could have sworn I heard a dropship. Oh, maybe it was unloading from the bunker. That could have been it. Uh, looks like Cole is poking around in the front right here. What does he have in his base? Um, staying on Lair Tech, that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can Against Terran Mech, you can stay on Lair Tech for a long time. Uh, and I do believe my stream has been fixed, so I can actually turn it online. So just give me one second, guys, and everything will be perfect. On Team Liquid, a few vultures trying to run out the front. Uh, are they going to get out? It looks like... Yeah, well, I was going to say all of them, but three of them, actually. And I made, like, a weird... <sighs> Man, see, like, when I try to talk when I'm thinking, I just make really funky sounds. So that's awesome. Looks like one of the vultures got left behind. Uh, there's a bit of a push out by the Terran. He basically wants to push out far enough that he can secure this bottom expo. Um, he doesn't want to float his command center there just yet. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. And we are now online on Team Liquid. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we have Hydras. I just got a backup from the Siege Tanks, uh, which do have plus two attack now. What about, oh, the Hydras are, have no upgrades. That's not so good. There is still that plus one carapace for the Zerg Air. Um, Cole looks like he's set up for his fourth. Uh, he actually really needs that because his Terran's about to get his third. And against Terran Mech, you really need an overwhelming number of bases. But here goes Cole. The tanks are mostly on siege. Uh, some SCVs were transferring. There's an Irradiate going down on the Muta Ball. The Mutas are going after tanks. The Hydras are going in. But Mines and Siege Tanks are doing a lot of damage. It looks like Cole will have traded armies right here. I don't know if that was worth it, but... Uh... Oh, he might get a huge mine. He could drag those mines into SCVs. That would be sick. These mutas are going to be able to do some damage. Uh, there are a few units for Rams, but he actually doesn't have many Goliaths left, although he has irradiated most of the mutalists down. Uh, how many kills are these? Wow, look at that. Six kill science vessel right there. But he's kind of denying this base for the moment, but I don't know if this is entirely worth it. Um, actually, I think it is, because as I said before, army trading with Terran Mech is quite good for Zerg. And actually coming in, cleaning this up, he will actually completely deny this expo. He might even get this command center unless Rams can pull out some more units from somewhere. He's irradiating a Hydralisk for some reason. Uh, there's another Hydra irradiated. I don't know why he doesn't go for the Muta instead. Uh, he's got Vultures and Tanks. Okay, now he's got some Goliaths coming out. But looks like Rams will actually be able to hold on to that base. And note that Cole hasn't actually planted that fourth hatchery. Oh, just as I say that, he does. Um, did, did he lose all the SCVs? I mean, I saw some SCVs going back. It looks like Rams actually took a, uh, a large SCV loss right there. Wow, more units coming in. Cole keeping on the pressure. Super aggressive. Going uh, July Zerg style, Quanro style. Seriously, but I don't think it's going to work. I think it should back up. Uh, well, there's a sign, sea tank in a good position, but that's a lot of Hydras. Cole might just tr try to break. Oh, a huge shot right there. The sea tank goes down. There's a few Goliaths trapped in this little corner right here. 
Cole is just going for the kill, just constantly sending units to the front. He's got a weird rally at the bottom of the ramp here. Uh, Overlord just gonna die to turrets. This is this is crazy. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's gonna get well. Oh my! Every time I think the attack is about to finish, Cole just like sends another wave of reinforcements. And in these small numbers, Hydra Muta is actually extremely effective against uh, Mech. Mech really needs like a, a large number of units to, to be cost effective. In these small numbers, Goliaths are just not at all cost effective against Hydras. And Rams is going to lose this base. Does he have any units to reinforce? I think he might just sack the base. Yes, he will. He's uh, transferring the SCVs back. Cole is targeting down the command center. Will he get it? The command center is in the red. It's at 200 HP. It's at 100 HP. The command center goes down, and Cole's fourth base is now up, although it doesn't have any drones there yet. I think Cole is in a fantastic position right now. It looks like he was behind. I mean, he went for two hatch muta against Mech. Usually, that doesn't work out too well um, because of Goliaths. They're just really good against the mutas. But Cole... Cole, I, I don't know I don't know how he did it. I mean, uh, not only that, he suffered the, that early uh, economy hit due to those vultures. I mean, he did get a bling run in, but I thought after the early game that Cole was in a lot of trouble. But uh, he's doing a good job. Looks like Rams is going to try and sneak a hidden expo here. There's a Scourge that's supposed to be spotting it, but Scourge, of course, have extremely uh, small vision radius. So that Scourge is actually going to not see that command center unless he repositions it. Or, or send some other unit down there. If we look at the Terran's base, it looks like he's got six factories, two with machine shops, still only one armory. What kind of upgrades do we have? It uh, looks like two, one for the Terran. Uh, only one attack for the Hydras. Do the Mutas have anything else? Nope, they still on one carapace. Uh, and the Hive and the Filer Den are actually already done. So while Cole was doing that entire attack, he, he teched up to the Filers. Like, pre that's pretty good. It's pretty good multitasking. So I think, I think Cole is in a pretty good position. Uh, these vultures are going to try and harass this top base. There is one not-so-great position sunken. I think these guys could get a lot of kills. There's only one Muta here to defend. Oh man, Cole, he needs to build some more sunkens. I mean, he knows that the Terran has speed vultures. I don't know why he doesn't build a few more sunkens. Losing a lot of drones right there. He doesn't even have a sunken in here. He should definitely build another sunken in each mineral line, uh, in my opinion. I see people making fun of me saying Defiler Den. You know what? You know what? All right, Defiler Mound, Evolution Chamber, yeah, what? Anyway, Lurkers coming down, interestingly enough. Um, lurkers are generally not that effective. Oh, looks like you tried to snipe a science vessel. Lurkers are, are generally not, uh, well, they're not nearly as effective against mech as they are against medic marine, uh, simply due to how much uh, hit points, how many hit points uh, mech units have. Uh, oh! Two defilers. That's defi. That, those are defiler corpses. Two defilers actually dying to mines. That's a huge loss for Cole right there. Those were certainly two defilers. Wow. Uh. And wow, looks like yeah, that th that vulture attack actually was quite good. Uh, but I don't think Cole's gonna allow any of that anymore. He does have some tanks pushing out here. I I'm not. I don't really understand this lurker switch because he has vessels and mech. I mean, I mean, if you go, oh no, oh no, Cole, Cole, I don't think this is going to work, there's mines, oh, the Terran is in a great position, Cole is just throwing away units right now, he's going into a Dark Swarm, but, ah, uh, I don't think this is a good idea at all, Cole, Cole throwing away all his army, he's got a few Hydras sitting in a swarm, but that's not going to work, oh, Cole, Cole, dude, dude, that's not working, man, that is not working. Uh, sorry, I gotta make sure everything's working. Uh, still 2-1 for the Terran. We have two carapace now for the Zerg air and two attack for the Hydras. He's not going for a greater spire quite yet, um, which I kind of would like. I mean, Guardians are pretty good against Mech. They are pretty good. But here comes a big Terran push. There's a lot of Lurkers morphing, uh, but not many units overall. Cole might be in a little bit of trouble. The Defiler gets irradiated. He needs to throw down a Swarm right now before it dies. It's gonna... Yes, it does get both of its Swarms down. So that's gonna buy Cole a little bit of time. He's gonna get Lurkers under there. So that's actually gonna hold down the Terran ball. Now, the thing is, uh, Borrowed units don't actually take Splash when they're under Swarm. Don't even take Splash damage, so um, they're pretty much invincible. Now, ironically, this hidden base 
has gotten up. It's pretty much... Oh, but Cole, having lost that Scourge, he might know what's up now. That actually might have been a blunder by, by Rams to kill that, um, alerting Cole to the presence of something down there. Uh, and and now it looks like, despite doing a great attack in the beginning, Cole, Cole could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, he's holding on with a, a Dark Swarm there, but it's not like... Uh, uh, unlike against a Terran Bio Ball... Siege tanks can actually splash and still do damage on this swarm against Hydras. Uh, the Sunken's going down. He irradiates a Lurker Egg. I think that egg will actually die because the Siege tanks are shooting it. Wow, look at that. Disappearing Lurker trick. Uh, that actually happens if uh, a, an egg dies right as the Lurker pops. Vulture's going in. There are a few links though. He can micro down. Two Defilers and three links. That's less than helpful. I don't know what happened. GG! Go Desti Cole! Despite being what in what I thought was a great position, is gonna lose game one to Rams. And we will be going into game two on destination. Really surprising result right there. Alright, and I will be getting LRM game into the car.